What is going on everybody? This is Tyler Alpha Salt and today I have you guys another random topic Friday. And real quick before I get into the topic, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know of the class that I'm using in this gameplay. And this is some kill confirmed on Plaza. I'm using the Remington. I had just prestiged it and so I only have the long barrel equipped. And so for my perks, I have Lightweight, Hardline, Scavenger, and Dexterity. I like Scavenger on the Remington because then I can resupply my, um, usually my C4 that I use on it. And also the Black Hats because the Black Hats are really helpful in a lot of situations. Um, and instead of the Black Hat, now I might put the EMP Grenade on because I really enjoy the EMP Grenade because it's nice. It actually is a stealth tool when you're using an unsilenced weapon because you can basically get rid of the enemy's minimap and so you you know it's like you have a silencer again in a way because they don't know if it's you shooting or the end or their teammates shooting so um but that's going to be for a later video that i'll talk to you guys about so but for now i'm going to go ahead and jump into random topic friday oh one last thing actually before i go into that is that there's some sparts some parts in this gameplay that I skip uh, skip or um, fast forward through um, because there's quite a bit of downtime but I end up getting a lot of kills I end up going I think 48 and 5 or something like that I don't remember off the top of my head but you guys will see at the very end of the match it's really good I actually don't get that many um, like score streak kills I get a lot of gun kills and stuff and also one quick little thing in theater mode this gameplay was a little jumpy it was um it was like it was missing some frames, and it's really weird. I don't know if that was because the internet was being overused at my house at that time when I was trying to record this from theater mode, or if theater mode is just glitching out or something. I don't know. But hopefully the rest of my gameplays won't be like this, and you guys won't have to worry about that. So guys, basically what I want to talk to you guys about in Random Topic Friday this week is if you're a senior in high school or you're going to be taking you know, college classes this spring, I don't know, even right now, or you're going to be taking them this fall, then I want to give you guys some tips because I just started in high school. Or I'm sorry, in college. I, I graduated from high school. I just started in college. I wanted to give you guys some tips that I've learned and um, also just maybe some things that will help you out. So first thing is definitely take a planner. Now, a planner could be anything like a smartphone or something like that. It, where you have like a calendar or something similar to a calendar on there that you can put in dates sort of like the whole PDA thing from you know back in the early 2000s if any of you remember that that uh, PDAs were you know just a device that you actually most people use as like a calendar and things like that so yeah that's definitely the first thing because there's a lot of dates to remember for college they give you a syllabus in the beginning and you're expected to remember all the dates that are on the syllabus and a lot of times they won't remind you and you know they'll tell you on the syllabus about tests you're gonna have weeks in advance that during those weeks you should be studying for so it's it's a good example it's a good thing to have because it's great for organization so next thing I'd say is definitely pay attention to the bus routes you know look up the bus routes around where you live in case you know your your car breaks down or your parents car breaks down when you're getting to and from college because you still need to show up to class and when you don't and you say oh well my car broke down your professors are going to say well that's your responsibility to take care of and they're right it is it's your responsibility to take care of your car and make sure you either get it fixed or you have an alternate plan for getting to school so it's really important and that's definitely something you don't want to forget. Another thing is definitely study in advance. This goes along with you know having a plan or something to keep track of the dates with. Plan in advance and also study far in advance. Um, right now I'm only at the end of my second week in college of this semester and already I'm studying for tests that are a couple weeks in advance. I have a test on Monday that is over math that I'm you know, I'm studying for, and also I have a, a test in psychology that I have to study for that's not until about mid-February, but, you know, even now I'm getting some of this stuff done and I'm beginning to study because there's just a lot, and it's also really important to start studying early, and that kind of leads to the next thing I was going to talk about is because you should be studying as much as possible because you're paying for these classes. Well, it may not be you, but it may be your parents. Someone is paying for these classes. Don't let their money go to waste. Don't just, you know, think that this is not that this is unimportant because college is important. Our society puts a lot of 
stock and you know how you do in college and, and jobs they pay attention to that and they want to know and if you're going to be going for a big degree then if you're transferring someplace else to finish off your degree that other college is going to be wondering how did you do at this previous college and what were your grades like what was your attendance like and things like that and that also leads into the very next point a lot of points leading into points here but the very last point I wanted to you know tell you guys about is the fact that be at your classes you know show up you're paying for these classes and so it's really important that you show up and you actually you, know, you attend the class and you listen and you do everything for the class that you're supposed to because you're paying for it and whether you know it's your parent it's your parents money or it's your money or it's money from the government or from the school itself with financial aid it's still your responsibility to you know go in there and be ready and do the work you're supposed to and you know it's important to show up for class i know that a lot of people like to skip on like november 11th or 13th you know whenever call of duty is coming out but that's something that i probably won't be doing what i'll probably end up doing it, to be completely honest is i'll probably end up just you know staying up the majority of the night and then going into class real early because it's important to get to class because you miss out on a lot of stuff if you don't get into class so all right guys if you're new to college or getting into college this uh, fall then i hope that this really helped you out and that you guys got some helpful tips from here and uh, this is actually the game winning kill cam, but because it's from theater mode, you guys don't get to see it. But you guys get the whole point. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. My Twitter link will be in the description, and also my PSN ID will be in the description. Don't forget to like the video and leave a comment if you have any other, any other ideas for another Random Topic Friday. So on this next screen, you guys shall be seeing some previous videos from me. On the left is a video I uploaded two days ago, and it's about what why you watch a video on YouTube when you see it on your sub box and then on the on the yeah on the right you guys um, can see the thumbnail for the video where I almost go nuclear with the M27 on Plaza uh, you guys will have to go check that out I get four orbital VSATs in one life you guys will have to go check that out to see how close I got to getting the, the nuclear medal and um, yeah that's basically it guys so have a safe and wonderful day and I will talk to you guys later